Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com, and I'm coming to you from my home office outside of Eden Prairie, Minnesota. On today's episode, The Doctor is In, we're going to continue our discussion on how to leverage social media, particularly Facebook, to increase engagement leads and sales with those new friendship requests. So stay tuned. Today we're continuing our discussion on how to leverage our Facebook friendship requests to increase engagement leads and sales for our business. Now remember, in yesterday's episode, The Doctor Zane, I talked about the first question you need to ask once you've accepted a person's friendship request. If you haven't watched that episode yet, pause the video right now and go and watch it because the rest of this episode will make much more sense to you. Once they've responded back, you need to resist the urge to immediately send an opportunity link to your product or your sales or business opportunity because you want to be with the spirit of Facebook, which is social. You want to be social. You want to be engaging. And too often, we wind up getting ourselves into trouble, getting thrown into Facebook, Joe, where we're sending people links when they're not ready to look at it. And it also shows that we're really being spammy. So what you want to do is once they've responded to your question about what inspired them to reach out to you, then what you want to do is go back to their personal wall and look at photos of that they have, look at videos. You know, they always have those interests of things that they like, movies they like to watch, favorite sports teams, books that they like to read, and find things in common. Because when you're building your team, you want to be around people who you really like, okay? And you might be gaining some brand new friends, whether they join you in business or not. And you want to develop a core team. You don't want to have, you don't want to build for breadth. You want to build for depth. And so if you can find people who you like to do business with and they are friends, okay, you've developed a friendship, they're going to stay in longer. They're going to be more loyal to you. So you want to strike up conversations, find out what they have in common, and then there's going to be a critical juncture. Now this critical juncture is what's going to be initiated by the person you're talking to, where they're either going to confess or they're going to complain about something, where they might say they don't have the time to do what they want to do here. And then you can follow up by saying, well, what made you decide to go into business? And then you can start asking some specific business questions, such as, you know, what inspired you to go into business? Did you, were you invited by someone, or did you have a passion for this product? Then you can talk about, do they work their business online, offline, or both? And then talk about what types of online marketing strategies are they doing? Are they getting any results? And then begin to start sharing what you do. How long have you been in the industry? And start offering some simple solutions that you can help them with. So if they have a Facebook fan page, ask for that link so that you can look at that fan page and then give them some pointers that they can do to help increase engagement. This is going to elevate you as the authority and expert. And it's also going to show them that you really care about them and their success. And then you can finally set up by saying, you know, I learned all this by being a part of a system. And I have a 19-minute video that can show you more details about how this system can help you. And based on our conversations, I really believe this is the next logical step for you. And then you say, with your permission, may I send you the link. And when you do that, that still gives them the power to say yes. And if they say yes, send it to them and then set up your follow-up time saying, can you watch it right now? And if they can, then just tell them, I'm going to reach you in 20 minutes and then I'll reach out to you to see if you have any questions that you have and discuss next steps. This is going to be a very linear progression that's going to get them to want to look at your opportunity. And now you're not giving that link away. Remember, your link is your most important asset and you want to give it to people who you think are appropriate and a good candidate to receive it. That's posture. And when you do that, watch your engagement leads and sales grow. Did you find this video helpful? 
leave a comment and share. Make sure you like my Facebook fan page so you never miss another episode of The Doctor Is In. And stop by my website at drlisamthompson.com. And when you do, I have a free gift waiting for you, my social media marketing playbook. This is a video training specifically designed to help you attract the perfect prospect to you in just minutes a day using social media. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of The Doctor Is In, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.